Hey guys, how we doing? Okay, in today's tutorial in this face mask is a quick and easy, simple face mask that you can make really quick with less material and it's done really quick. It's only two, three little stitches and you're on your way out. So here goes the face mask that we are going to create today. So if you guys want, stay tuned, okay? Okay, let's get started. So right now, I'm going to make our template. So our template, you can bring any scrap piece of paper, uh, craft paper, even um, a paper bag, okay, guys? So you want to cut this piece or whatever size piece that you have on hand by nine and a half by six and a quarter, okay? So I'm bringing in my cutter down and it's going to be nine and a half, like I said, by six and a quarter. So I hope everyone's staying safe. I'm not doing too bad myself, six and a quarter. Okay, so here goes our template. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to fold this right in half. Okay, and then crease it down. Okay, so now that we got our paper folded, we're going to bring in our ruler and mark one and one eighth. And we're gonna mark that on the top and that on the bottom. And then we're going to mark on the sides one and three fourths. On the top and the bottom. So now we're going to take our lines and we're going to join them together. And we're going to do the same with the other side. Now, the next step we're going to do is, of course, you can either use your scissors, but I'm going to use a rotary cutter so it can come out super even because I cannot cut straight for the life of me. Okay. Okay, so here goes our template. There goes our template. Now you want to take your template and put it on your fabric and cut out two pieces. And this is what it's going to look like. Okay, so you save this template for later to make other ones or you could ditch it or make it out of cardstock and you can have it forever. Here goes your layers, okay? So now you want to take each layer and fold it in half and then we're going to take our ruler you want to go in seven eighths of an inch in okay and half an inch down which the half an inch down is right there and you do that on both sides okay so this is what it looks like you do the little stitching here and down here okay now you want to open it up and open this part up and make a flat crease making sure that everything lines up fine okay and you want to bring your towel in of course because if you don't want to do this to your mat <laughs> use a towel guys please <laughs> listen since I've been sewing, I've broke my glass table with this little heat press. And, you know, this little thing is small, but it goes to 400 degrees. And it will burn you really bad, guys, okay? And leave you marks that you don't want on your body. Okay, so now you just want to make sure that this is laying out even. And just press the iron on it. 
creasing it out really good. And you want to do the same with the other one. And just making sure that it all is evenly distributed. And turn it over and make sure that the creases are matching up. Okay, so give it another press. Now you're gonna have some tabs on the side like this. What you wanna do is just take your scissors and snip those off. Okay, so after you do that, you wanna, like I said, make sure that it is laying flat. That one looks good too. Give it a nice little press. Now what you wanna do is put pretty sides together. And you're gonna wanna either pin it or one to clip it, whichever one you're more comfortable with. I don't pin my fabric no more because um, I used to get a lot of pokes. And it didn't feel good. Not at all, guys. Okay. So there goes that. So now what you want to do is take it. And so from here, backstitch and go all the way around backstitch, leaving the sides open again, okay guys? Okay, so this is what it looks like when you stitch it. So you wanna stitch right here, backstitch, go all the way around, backstitch here, and do the same on the bottom, leaving the two sides open. Now we wanna turn this inside out. Okay, so the next step is you want to bring your iron back in and iron it out. And then now I just want to turn in my ends, my raw ends, about a quarter of an inch in, covering up your raw edges. Just like that, folding them and making sure that they line up perfect. And you want to crease them down. And then you want to bring in your elastic. I have this one eighth inch elastic. Okay, so here goes my elastic. I cut them at six and a half. And now I'm gonna push them through here. And you wanna do the same with the other side. But I actually wanna clip this in to keep it in place. Do the same with the other side. And I'm gonna do a top stitch all the way around, one eighth of an inch, closing the sides, okay guys? Okay guys, so this is the finished product. This is what it looks like. You can use both sides. You can either use one side plain, one side, or two different designs on each side, and you can double use this as two different masks, okay? 
So it's actually a two-in-one mask. So let me show you what it looks like. looks on me it's not the best one out there but it definitely does the job to go in and out of a store it also is simple and quick and easy five minutes will have you with this face mask done um really quick and um let's see what it looks like so i'm gonna try this on and it's really not that bad you can actually do this, use this two ways. So you can use this way and that way. So you guys be creative and use two different pattern materials, okay? So then it could be a double wear. Or you can use the same material and just make sure whichever one flips and flops, you know, mark it so you know exactly which one does, okay, guys? So it does not look that bad. It feels pretty comfortable. Excuse my hair, guys. It's a hot mess. I didn't get a chance to brush it this morning. But um, I'm at home. So anyway, this is what it looks like. And I actually like how it feels. It's not too, too close to the mouth. It kind of gives a little bit of a breathing room. Um, Me, I have to say, I prefer the 3D face mask that I have a tutorial on. If you guys would like to go and check it out. The link will be in the de description box below, okay? But um, if, like I said, if you need something quick and easy and you don't have anything, this will be something you can definitely think about, okay, guys? So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys being here, picking my video, watching it, and giving me that support. Um, If you guys like this video, definitely thumbs it up. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, if you did, if you do try it, let me know what you think. To me, I like it, but when I'm talking, it kind of moves down. So, I'm so used to the other one that it stays up, no matter how much you talk. But guys, I just wanted to show you another 3D mask, okay? So, thank you so much for watching. Press that subscription button if you would like to know or see more videos of what I do. Guys, I do just about everything. If you know behind me, I'm a paper crafter also. So, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. You guys stay safe now, okay? And stay blessed. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.